Hey everybody, you need to stay tuned for today's video. This is a departure from what I usually do on my channel, which is a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. Today, I have a Michaels haul for you. That's right, guys, it is a throwdown. Dollar Tree versus Michaels. Guys, stay tuned to find out some of these incredible deals that I found today. Welcome back to Rogue Country. Today I have a Michaels haul for you. I was able to check out my Michaels yesterday, which is October 4th. Right now, Michaels has a 20% off discount on regularly priced items. So, and it's not just on one item. So, if you have items in your cart that are regular price, you can use this coupon at the checkout and you'll receive 20% off of each of those items. So I went to Michael's looking specifically for some of my planner related needs that I had, and I'm not gonna show that in this haul. In today's haul, I'm going to show you some of the clearance items that I picked up. I'm going to show you some things that I purchased that I can't find really anywhere else and haven't seen anywhere else. And then I'm gonna bring you what I found and compare those to what I've also picked up at the Dollar Tree recently. So if you saw my last video, I did a Dollar Tree haul that included some of these Christmas items. Guys, you might not believe what I was able to find and how much I paid for them. Okay, so we will get to that part of the video very soon. But I wanted to show you, first of all, I've been talking about in my other videos about my workspace. I work from home and I've been doing a little bit of reorganization in that space and really trying to not just reorganize it, but also sort of make it pretty. I've been doing a little bit of decor that I can do in this very small confined space where I work. One of the things that I wanted to make for that area were some tissue paper flowers. When my daughter got married, I did a tissue paper flower for her um, and they turned out so pretty. They were very, very pretty and people were taking pictures in front of them. They turned out really nice. But I've been having trouble finding navy blue tissue paper and also rose gold. I haven't found the rose gold yet, but I did find this. And I think this actually takes a lot of the work out for me. So this is from Martha Stewart and they're just pom poms. And these were clearance at $4.97. So it's a kit and it just makes it so easy. You don't have to worry at all about doing these um, on your own. If you know anything about uh, tissue paper, pom-poms or flowers, you roll the tissue paper out a certain way and then you fold it a certain way and then you cut it a certain way and then you tie it a certain way. They're not hard to do, but if you don't lay them out exactly right, then each flower looks a little different. With something like this, I'm gonna be able to get really consistent looks and I really love this navy blue with the white polka dots and I think it's gonna look really pretty in my home office. So I picked that up for that reason. I was happy to find that. $4.97 for Martha Stewart at Michael's, I think is a steal. Now, white chalk paint is still not anywhere around me. Can't find it, but I did find the Folk Art Nautical, which is a beautiful navy blue chalk paint that I have actually been looking for as well. I was glad to see it. Guys, it's pricey at Michael's for chalk paint. This bottle was $9.99, but it's a color that I've been looking for. And with my 20% off coupon, I saved $2 on it. So I really just paid $7.99, which I think if I compare this to Waverly at uh, like a Walmart, I think I'm pretty close on that. So I was okay with spending my money on that, but be looking for this color in upcoming DIYs. This nautical is this beautiful navy blue color in a chalk paint finish, and I am going to be using that for some of my fall decor. So you wanna be checking that out for sure. Now, one of the things that happened, if you were watching my Eek Sign Halloween DIY, my Shore Bonder glue gun bit the dust right in the middle of me completing that project. It was a glue gun that had like an auto sensor on it. So if I sat it aside 
and didn't use it within a certain period of time, it turned itself off. And sometimes when I'm filming DIYs, I don't realize that my glue gun turned off. And I had actually completed part of the project and grabbed my glue gun and squeezed it so that I could glue something to the inside of part of that project. And all I heard was snap. I, it turned off, it must have been turned off too long it broke and when I opened the glue gun up to try to fix it, it was plastic inside and really the piece that broke, it kind of shattered. There was no way that I could fix it and actually use that glue gun. But so, I mean, I was kind of sad about that. I had heard all these great things about Shorebonder glue guns and then that happened and I kind of, you know, hesitated on buying another one. Well, then I found this precision tip glue gun at Michael's that is by Ad Tech, And it is the mini glue gun. Um, it says it has a two finger control on it. And uh, it says for multi-use. So it has a stand up base. And this is what I ended up getting. Now I think Shannon, the daily DIYer, might have this exact glue gun. I'm not sure. She has one that stands up as well. And when I was looking at a new glue gun, that was one of the features that I wanted. I wanted precision tip and I wanted something that would stand and not fall over all the time. Sometimes when I'm fil filming, I'll put my glue gun aside and it'll fall over onto the um, old microwave plate that I use for my glue gun. And it makes this noise and it's kind of distracting and I have to cut it out of my videos. And it's a big, it's a big deal <laughs> for me. So this was regularly 13 no 16.99 but with the coupon I saved three dollars and forty cents bringing it down to thirteen dollars and fifty nine cents I paid more for my sure bonder so so I'm really glad that I found this and I picked that up and then I also picked up 100 count of the mini glue sticks for all purpose I kind of matched it up with the glue gun these were $9.99 and I saved two dollars with the coupon so it was seven dollars and 99 cents for a hundred glue sticks I don't know you'll have to let me know because I've never purchased like a huge box or anything like that of glue sticks I've seen people talk about doing that I don't have the space really to you know store that I like to buy them a hundred packs whenever I can and I thought $7.99 was pretty good okay the next thing I'm gonna show you is this really adorable shiplap star. Guys, I found this towards the front of the store. It's called a wood ornament, and it is marked at 99 cents. And that's better than the Dollar Tree. You're not gonna find this at the Dollar Tree. If you find a star, you have to make your own sort of lines in them and I actually did a video on that same DIY so it's easy to do but this is a little bit smaller than the star that you find at the Dollar Tree but this was 99 cents regular price I was able to use the 20% off coupon on that and that brought this down to 80 cents so I paid 80 cents and I bought two of them I just think they're so so cute you can use these for Christmas. You can use them for the 4th of July. You can use them for everyday decor if you want to. I just thought they were really, really cute and I went ahead and picked that up. Then I found these. This is by Art Minds and it is called a wood shadow box. Now it's just an octagonal shape and it doesn't have any shiplap in it, which would be super easy to fix with maybe some popsicle sticks. This was also 99 cents. <laughs> And when it was all said and done, 19 cents off with the coupon, I paid 80 cents for each of these. So I went ahead and I bought two of those. Some items that I found in their clearance section. Anytime I go by their clearance section, if I find wood items, I pick them up because I like to make my own risers, my own farmhouse risers. And I was able to find two more sets of these unfinished, what they're calling wood accessories, these are little candle cups, but these are perfect feet for mini risers. So I went ahead and I picked up two of those and they were 50 cents per bag. So guys, you can't sleep on the Michaels and you can't sleep on their clearance. You have to walk around the store and see what you can find. They have clearance all over the place. 
I found planner items on sale that weren't over by the planner items. I had to go way over on the other side of the store. So for me, Michael's is sort of a treasure hunt. You kind of walk around and you see what you find and then you have somebody scan it for you if one of their scanners is not available. And sometimes you're kind of surprised at what they're asking for things and other times you really find a gem. Another thing I picked up and I, I saw these, there were multiples of these. This is a two pack. And they're calling these doll pins, and these were 50 cents for the package. Now, I'm not 100% even sure what I'm gonna do with these, but these were interesting enough to me to pick them up, and we'll see. But they had multiple, like mega amount of these on sale in their bins. If I figure out what I'm going to do with it anytime soon, I can definitely go back and buy some more for 50 cents. It's one of those things where you see it, you pick it up, and then you get the idea, and then you have to go back and get more. I don't think I'm in a position where I'm gonna regret not getting them right away. You never know. So I only got two, but they're really kind of, they're, they're interesting. They're a neat little piece. I've seen some people do some things with these already, which was kind of neat. Um, but yeah, 50 cents for two of those. Then 50 cents for these ivory wooden tags. So, this is one of those things where if you're at the Dollar Tree and you can't find their chalkboard tags or the chalkboard tags that they have are just maybe a little bit too big for what it is that you're looking to do with them, this was a great find. These are 50 cents. These are by Doris and they were in the clearance. There are uh, 25 tags for 50 cents and they are 1.6 inches by 3.2 inches. So they're a cute little size, 25 tags. The possibilities for these, for any holiday, any regular decor is endless. And I'm glad that I came across these. This was the only one in the little, that bin of all the wood things. Another thing that I found, which I thought was interesting, are these chalkboard coasters. They were regularly $3.99 and I got them for 97 cents. Guys, Art Minds chalkboard coasters. They are four piece, so you get four pieces in this. And I think it's a 12 by 12. The measurement is actually not on this packaging, but it's, I mean, that's a great deal. And these are gonna be kind of cool to DIY as well. Something that I found in the clearance section. So they have like aisles that are marked clearance and then they have pegboards along the edges of some of the walls, like literally all the way around the store. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm sorry, cause I'm really trying hard to find, to find this on my receipt. Here's my Michael's receipt guys. Sorry guys. Okay, so another thing that I found walking through some of the uh, clearance item aisles at Michael's were some old Williamsburg candles. And if you know Dollar Tree, that is something that they sell. And these were clearanced out at $1 a piece. So this is a, this is a wash for me. So I could have picked this up at Dollar Tree if they had this scent, which for me, this is perfect. It's called Country Dreams. And it is an old Williamsburg candle apple cinnamon a spicy cinnamon blend touched by crisp apple and it's one of those mason jar little candles so i found a dollar tree item at michael's for the same price and i thought that was awesome and this scent is really nice i really really like it another thing that i picked up that i see, cannot seem to find at the dollar tree but i have seen these hauled at dollar tree is one of these little wooden trucks now this is different than what you can find at the Dollar Tree. And the reason being is because there are two windows carved through. The Dollar Tree trucks don't have a window. And also it's got this little opening in the pickup section. The Dollar Tree truck is all one piece. And then the wheels, they move just like, exactly like the Dollar Tree one does. It also doesn't have that weird little peg top, I don't know. But anyway, this was $1.99 regular price. Okay, and then with my coupon, I saved 40 cents and I got it for $1.59. So the detail on this 
for me is a little bit nicer than what you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. It'll be easy to DIY and it will, it's actually the perfect size to fit on a tiered tray. And so for that reason, I went ahead and picked it up and paid the 59 cents more than I would at the Dollar Tree. But are you guys ready for this? I could not believe what I found. And this actually for me at my store is on either side of the aisle where you start to get in line to you know weave around to go actually check out at the store. And I wish I had for you the little home sign that you can get at Dollar Tree. I know I have one around here. I've been through all of my organiz organized bins. I don't know if I put it away for a DIY for next year already. I don't know. Sometimes I have to rethink the way I organize because I seem to lose things. Uh, yeah, anyway, at Dollar Tree, you can buy the wooden signs on a stand and the words are cut out. They're blessed, thankful, home, what have you. And they're little, guys. They're little and you pay a dollar for these, okay? I found this at Michael's. Guys, it's huge. It's way bigger than the Dollar Tree ones, okay? They are 99 cents regular price. This is Art Wood, Art Minds Wood Words. Now, they had home. They had for like Valentine's, they had the word love. But again, any season, this can stay out all year. They had for Christmas, they had Noel. They had Mary. And they had Santa. Guys, these are way bigger than the Dollar Tree, okay? And at 99 cents, they beat Dollar Tree by a penny. But when you use your 20% off discount coupon, they're 79 cents, okay? So for the size and the value with the coupon, these are a definite recommend, definite. These are like the pumpkin signs that you find at the Dollar Tree, and they're exactly like the little word signs that you find at the Dollar Tree too. They're on a wood base. There is a, a part of this wood base that is routered out, or there's a slit in it. And then they took the wording and they popped it down in there and they glued it in. So right there for you, five different options, 79 cents. If you're not a Michaels, like rewards member, all you have to do is sign up with your email address, I think it is. And then anytime you're in the store, like for me, I have my notifications turned on. So anytime I'm near Michael's, I get a notification it's like, hey, there's coupons, you have rewards. And yesterday when I went shopping, I decided to go ahead and use some of those. Okay. But like I said, I don't have the little signs from Dollar Tree to compare. You may know exactly what I'm talking about. You might not have a crafter square section at your Dollar Tree. And if you don't, then you really can't compare those signs with the Dollar Tree sign. But I'm telling you, $1 versus 79 cents. I mean, that's really a good deal. But let's get down to the brass tacks of it, shall we? I was shocked, shocked when I found what I'm going to show you next. And it, I teased it in the beginning of this video. So for instance, Dollar Tree Crafter Square Christmas item, color your own ornament stocking. You get a five piece and you will pay $1 at the Dollar Tree. At Michael's, you can pick up, craft your own, color your own ornaments in a, what is this? This says seven pieces. Seven wood cutouts with the jute string. You get jute string for Dollar Tree. Look at the Dollar Tree jute. Look at Michael's. Okay, seven pieces, 99 cents. And with the coupon, they're 79 cents. If you are having trouble finding these at Dollar Tree, I recommend you hit up your Michael's. You get two more and you're gonna, you're gonna save 20 cents per package. So that can add up if you're doing a lot of DIY or a lot of you know ornaments that you're going to be doing for like family members or what have you. Now, Dollar Tree also has the ornament in 
in their packaging, okay? I did not pick it up because I wasn't looking for it at the time, but then when I found these, I kind of wish I had them to compare. This is the same amount, you get five in the package, and these are the Christmas or Noel wood shapes, okay? They don't have a hole in them. They don't have any string. They're not necessarily an ornament. That would not be hard to do because these are balsa wood. They're kind of thin. You can use these for all kinds of different DIYs. These were 80 cents, 79 cents, because they were 99 cents with the coupon, comes down to 79 cents. Dollar Tree has a Christmas tree, right? I did not find a Christmas tree, but I did find something to compare to the little uh, snowflakes. Now, I really like this snowflake. I Last year, I did some DIYs with this very snowflake. I will try to link that in the description box below so you can go back and see some of my older videos. But last year at Christmas time, I used these a lot in DIYs. But... Michaels has options for you guys. So if you don't find this, you can pick up either their wood shapes, which are not ornaments for, for 79 cents with the coupon. You get a total of five pieces in this, or you can pick up one of their ornaments. Now this one has seven pieces. Hoping you can see that. Yes, seven pieces. Here's the twine. I mean, in comparison, here's Dollar Tree. And here's Michael. Look at the detail on that, guys. That is incredible. So, you know, it depends on what you're looking for exactly, but for 79 cents, it beats the Dollar Tree. And the last thing that I picked up in that section for 99 cents, 79 cents with the 20% off coupon were the wooden stars. And again, these are good for any time of year. You get five in this package. 79 cents with the coupon. The awesome thing about this coupon is it's good till the end of October. I think it's like the 27th or the 28th. So if you're not already a Michaels, um, you know, rewards member, definitely sign up. If you are, check your Michaels app. You might not always be in Michaels. I'm not always in Michaels. And yesterday's trip turned out to be sort of eye-opening to me because I was surprised that I could pick up what I picked up, the quality of what I picked up, and how comparable it would be if I were to spend that same dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I really hope that you liked today's content, today's video. I hope you learned a little bit about Michaels. I hope that you will check out your Michaels and maybe pick up some of these items for yourself, especially if you're having trouble finding some of these items at the Dollar Tree, because we all know how fast things go there, right? And if you did like today's video, please give me a thumbs up down below. That lets me know that you like content like that or like this, and I will keep bringing it to you. And I really hope that you all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.